Ozzy and Harriet. Oh, hi, Rick. Oh, hi, Ma. Hey, whose car is that out and back there? Oh, it belongs to the Maynards. I don't think you know them. Oh, are they going to have dinner with us? Yes, I asked them to stay there in the living room. You're going to have dinner at home tonight, aren't you? Oh, gee, I, I told some fellows I'd meet him at the bowling alley. We're going to have dinner over there. Oh, that's a shame. Dave won't be home either. Could I help you with something, Mrs. Nelson? Oh, no, thank you, Joyce. Maybe a little later. Oh, I, I don't think you've met Ricky, have you? No, I haven't. Rick, this is Joyce Maynard. Hi, Joyce. Hi. Well, can I carry the plates in for you? Yes, thank you. Then you can introduce Rick to your parents. Oh, fine. I'd love to. Here, let me help you too, Mom. Oh, uh, by the way, what time will dinner be ready? Gee, I'm starved. In a few minutes. And, uh, Rick? Uh, yes, ma'am? Welcome aboard. <laughs> you should have told me. Are you sure you won't have some more pie, Harry? Uh, no, thanks, Harry. It was wonderful, but I'm afraid I just couldn't handle any more. Uh, you know, she didn't even ask me. <laughs> well, that's the penalty you pay for being the host. You said you're on a diet. Well, I'm in starting tomorrow. <laughs> don't worry, I'll sneak back into the kitchen later on and have another piece. Say, why don't we have some more coffee in the living room? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, maybe we'd better get out of here, Harry, before they find something for us to do. That's a good idea. <laughs> Uh, would you like to go into the den and listen to some records? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Sit down, Harry. Thanks, Oz. Make yourself comfortable. Well, you certainly have a lovely daughter. Well, thanks, Oz. We're pretty fond of her. She really is a nice kid. Evidently, Rick thinks so, too. <laughs> yeah, I notice they seem to be hitting it off pretty well. <laughs> Daddy? Oh, yes, dear. That birthday party for Aunt Mary, that's not this Saturday night, is it? No, that's a week from Saturday. Oh, that's good. Uh, Rick's invited me to a fraternity party. I just wanted to make sure. A week from Saturday. Thanks. Yeah, I guess they are hitting it off pretty well. <laughs> Where do they usually give these parties? At the fraternity house? Uh, yeah, uh, sometimes. They have them all different places. They've had a few of them here at, at our house, but we don't encourage it. It's a little rough on the furniture. <laughs> you mean they kind of get out of hand? Oh, no, no. They're all nice kids, but, you know, you, you get a bunch of them together. I will say this, though. They always clean up the place pretty well before they leave. Oh, uh, Pa? Uh, yeah? Have you seen my guitar any place? I left it in the den. Uh, I think your mother put it in the hall closet there. Oh, thanks. Uh, Rick? Uh, where's the party going to be Saturday night? Oh, Fred's mother and father are going to let us use their mountain cabin. You know, up at the lake. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that should be fun. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's where it's going to be, apparently, at the cabin. Well, I should imagine it'll be kind of cold up there this time of year. Do they usually go out of town for their parties? No, well, not usually. Of course, they always have chaperones. Oh, naturally. <laughs> In fact, about half the time, Harriet and I get stuck with the job. <laughs> What job is that? Oh, chaperoning the fraternity parties. They're having one this weekend. Oh, have they asked us to chaperone again? Well, uh, not yet, but don't be surprised if they do. Oh, oh, by the way, Rick's invited Joyce. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, I'm sure she'll have a wonderful time. It'd certainly be nice if you folks were the chaperones. I must admit, I'd feel a lot better about it. Oh, that, that's understandable. Oh, I don't mean to sound mid-Victorian, but uh, having a daughter these days is quite a responsibility. Oh, yeah, I, I can imagine it is. They're always real nice parties, though. I'm sure they are. Uh, excuse me, Pop, uh, could I ask you something? Uh, we're way ahead of you, Rick, and we accept. Well, accept what? Uh, your mother and I would be delighted to be chaperones at your fraternity party. Oh, well, gee, thanks a lot, Pop. But that wasn't what I wanted to ask you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What is it? Well, could you lend me five dollars, Joyce, and I want to go down and get some records. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Pop. I'll pay you back. Okay. I can see where having a son has its problems, too. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing to the record player? There was something wrong with the turntable. I finally got it fixed, though. Are you sure? I think so. Hand me one of those records over there, and I'll see if it works. Hey, have you got anything else? I don't like Dixieland. What difference does that make? You're just trying to see if the machine works. Okay. Especially don't like this one. Hey! What happened to electricity? Can't figure it out. Well, uh, keep up the good work, Herbie. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna set up the chairs for the party tonight. 
Well, the party's not gonna be here. It's up at Fred's cabin at the lake. Well, who told you that? Well, I don't know, everybody. Well, that's not the way I heard it. I know they're gonna have a poker party up there, but the dance is here at the house. No, you're all mixed up. The dance is at the cabin, and if there's a poker party, it's here at the house. Well, why doesn't somebody tell me these things? Well, you don't listen. Well, are you going upstairs? Yeah. Well, would you mind putting these chairs back for me? Well, I'll help you. I'll take one of these. Oh, thanks a lot. Hey, are you through the shower? Yeah. Okay, I'm next. I'm next! The heck you are, I'm next! Well, I'm next right after you. <laughs> Man, are you having trouble getting in the shower? I sure am. I wish they didn't have so many guys with big muscles around here. I think I'll make a motion at the next meeting. From now on, we don't pledge anybody over five feet six. Hey, where are my clothes? They're right here on the bed. Oh, were those yours? Yeah, what happened to them? Well, let's see. Fred borrowed the jacket, Eddie took the slacks, Phil got the shirt, nobody wanted the tie, and I'm wearing the socks. You're kidding. Yeah, I guess I am, but it's possible. Well, come on. In the closet. Oh, thanks. Hey, we are going up to the cabin tonight, aren't we? I mean, that's where the party is? Well, yeah, that's what I understood. Why, did somebody say something different? Well, just Bruce. But you know him. He gets everything mixed up. Hey, who are you going to take tonight? Uh, Frank. <laughs> yeah, we're all going up in his car. No, I mean, who's your date? Well, what do you mean? Why should I take a date to a poker party? Well, you're as confused as Bruce is. We're all taking dates. Well, that's not what I heard. I don't have a date. Well, you better get one. Well, you better break yours. What's the big argument? Well, where's the party going to be tonight? I was just going to ask you the same question. I thought it was up at the cabin, but somebody just told me it was going to be at Pine Lodge. You mean the party tonight? Yeah, the poker party. Well, I don't know about that, but the dance is here at the house, isn't it? Well, that's not the way I heard it. I understood we were all going up to the cabin tonight with dates. Well, that's what I understood, too. Well, I wish someone would straighten this thing out. Well, there's nothing to straighten out. We're all going up to the cabin and play poker. I thought we were going to have a dance right here. We always have dances here. I'd rather go up to the mountains. Well, anything's okay with me. Well, why don't the guys with the dates go up to Pine Lodge and go dancing, and then the rest of us can play poker at the cabin? Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, why drive all the way up there? If we're going to have a dance, why don't we just have it here? Well, for one thing, the record player's busted. Don't worry. I think I've located the trouble. <laughs> I wouldn't count on him. Look, if worse comes to worse, we can always go over to my house. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that sounds great. Hey, Bob, have you got ten bucks you can lend me? I'd better help Herbie fix that player if we're going to have a dance here tonight. Well, I'd better call out my folks. Uh, they promised a chaperone and they think the party's up at the cabin. Well, what's the final decision? Well, the last I heard, the party with the girls is going to be at the house and the poker party's going to be up at the cabin. If anyone wants to take a shower, you better hurry up. The hot water's almost gone. Oh, thanks, Joe. Hey, hey, Bruce, will you do me a favor? I want to take a shower. Okay. Well, would you call up my folks and tell them about the change in plans? Uh, they think the party's going to be up at the cabin and I don't want them to drive all the way up there for nothing. Okay, give me a dime. Haven't you taken a shower yet? No, somebody always keeps chiseling in ahead of me. And do you have a dime? Yeah, I think so. Well, give it to Bruce, will you? He's gonna make a phone call for me. Okay. But don't forget where you got it. Rick? Rick? Where'd he go? To take a shower. Hey, I'm supposed to be next. Rick? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mr. Nelson, this is Bruce. Oh, hi, Bruce. Rick's taking a shower, and he asked me to call and tell you there's been a change in plans for tonight. Oh, what's that? Well, there was kind of a mix-up as to where we were going to go, and Rick suggested we have the party over at your house. That is, if it's okay with you. Oh, yeah, sure. In fact, it's kind of a relief to know we don't have to drive all the way up to the cabin. Well, I hope it won't be too much trouble. Uh, no, no, don't worry about it. Uh, what time will it start? About 8 o'clock? Uh, yes, sir, I'd say about 8 o'clock, maybe a little later. Uh, oh, okay, we'll be ready for you. What time are we leaving for the cabin? Well, uh, there's been a slight change in plans. They're, they're going to have the party here instead of up at the lake. What happened? Well, I, I don't know. You know. Somebody got things mixed up. In, in a way, though, I, I'm kind of glad. I, I sort of had the feeling Harry Maynard wasn't too happy about having his daughter go to a, a party up at the cabin. Well, now that you mention it, I got that feeling, too. Well, we better get going. I'll straighten up the house, and you run down to the market and get some extra food and stuff, okay? Okay. Well, uh, uh, Harriet? Uh, well, the, the house doesn't need straightening up. It, it looks fine. Oh, yeah, so it does. Well, hurry back, dear. Howdy. Sandwiches look good. You leave those alone there for the kids. Yeah, if the kids ever get here. Well, I sure wish they'd hurry up. Yeah, it is getting kind of late, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. 
Well, Tiny and Bruce say they'd get here at 8 o'clock, wasn't it? Well, yeah, that's what he said. Uh, they'll probably be along any minute. There's somebody now. I'll get it. Hi, Sharon. Hello, Bruce. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Oh, hi, Sharon. Bruce. Hi, hi Mr. Nelson. Here, let me take your coat. Oh, thank you. Where's the rest of the gang? Yeah, where is everybody? Oh, weren't they here? We thought we'd be late. No, you're the first ones to arrive. Gee, that's funny. Well, the, the party is supposed to be here at our house tonight, isn't it? Well, that's what I understood. Of course, there was a little confusion when we were talking about it this afternoon. Oh, well, uh, where are Rick and his date? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is kind of embarrassing. You see, uh, Mrs. Nelson and I are supposed to be chaperoning the party. <laughs> now all we have to do is find the party. Well, maybe they're over at the fraternity house. Why don't I phone over there? Uh, okay, uh, the phone's right on the coffee table there. You don't suppose they called it off, do you? Oh, gee, I, I don't think so. I'm sure Rick would have phoned us. There doesn't seem to be any answer. Well, uh, why don't you let it ring a little longer? Nothing. Guess they're not there. Well, not necessarily. Sometimes you can't hear the phone when there's a party going on. You know, the, the, the music may be blasting out, or, or maybe they've got the phone switched off or something. I was sure Betty Jean said she and Dink were going over to the fraternity house. Well, uh, why don't we take a run over there? I'll get my coat. I'll get the sandwiches. Well, obviously the party isn't here. Maybe there's someone upstairs who knows what's going on. Oh, I wouldn't count on it. I've been here for two years and nobody ever knows what's going on. <laughs> hey, anybody upstairs? Well, now what? Well, uh, sandwiches, anyone? <laughs> we can't stand around here all night. We better find out where the party is. Are you sure the party's tonight? Well, of course I'm sure this is Saturday, isn't it? What well, has been all day. Hey, I know. Let's call the Maynards. Who? Harry and Dorothy Maynard. Oh, uh, Joyce's parents. Yeah, they probably know where the party is. Well, yeah, I'm sure he'd ask his daughter where she was going. Gee, I, I kind of hate to call him. Well, I don't think we have much choice. Well, uh, what are you going to say to him? I'm not going to say anything. You're the one who's going to make the call. Oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, here, Mr. Nelson, I'll hold us. Uh, where's the phone? Right out there in the hall. Hello? Well, uh, hello, Harry. Uh, uh, this is Ozzie Nelson. Oh, hi, Ozzie. How's the party going? Oh, uh, uh, just fine, I imagine. Well, there's nothing wrong, I hope. Oh, uh, no, uh, uh, nothing that I can see. Uh, By the way, how's the weather up there in the mountains? Oh, uh, well, it, it's uh, nice and warm in here. The kids are up at the cabin. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, Harry. I, I just uh, thought I'd call you. Well, say, Oz, uh, could I speak to Joyce a minute? Uh, 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 Joyce? Yes, could I speak to her? Harry, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, Oz, uh, never mind. Uh, Dorothy is shaking her head no. <laughs> we wouldn't want Joyce to think we're checking up on her. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I, I see your point. Uh, well, uh, uh, we, we'll be seeing you then, Harry. Uh, so long. I didn't see Ricky's car out there. Well, he probably drove up with somebody else. What would that be? Okay. Uh, good evening. Is the fraternity party being held here? Well, yeah. Just a second. Hey, did anybody call a delicatessen? There's a man here with some sandwiches. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Ricky Nelson's father. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on in. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, hi, Mr. Mr. Hello. Nelson. Hi, fellas. Yeah, I think you know just about everybody. Yes, yeah, sure. Please sit down, boys. We're just having a little poker party. Oh, well, don't let us interrupt you. Oh, that's okay. Say, what brings you up to this neck of the woods? Well, we're looking for Rick and his date. We're supposed to be chaperoning a fraternity party someplace. Uh, uh, do you have any idea where it's being held? Well, there was kind of a mix-up, but I thought it was supposed to be at the fraternity house. Uh, no, we were just down there, and there's nobody there. Well, when we were talking about it this afternoon, I suggested the lodge. I'll bet that's where they are. Uh, what lodge is that? Well, I was thinking about Alpine Lodge. Oh, they wouldn't go there. It's too far. Well, maybe they went to Hidden Valley Lodge. Or maybe that new one on the other side of the lake. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, uh, thanks anyway, fellas. Well, sorry we couldn't help. Oh, uh, that's okay. We'll find them. Uh, Harriet? Say, wait a minute. Does that phone work? Yes, ma'am. Why, uh, what'd you have in mind? Well, I thought you might call the Maynards. 
Oh, gee, I don't want to do that again. In the first place, they, they think the party's being held here at the cabin. Hey, uh, wait a second. He, he just said the mountains. Maybe he meant a, a mountain lodge. Sure, go ahead, call him. It can't do any harm. Do you mind if we get back to the game? I'm trying to break a losing streak. <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, I suppose all those sandwiches are for the party. Help yourself. Ooh. Hello? Oh, uh, hello, Harry? Uh, this is Ozzy again. Gee, Oz, I appreciate your calling, but you don't have to call every hour. I'm not that strict. I know that. How are things going? Come on, Andy, up. Five card stud. <laughs> What's that? Uh, the, the fellows are having a little poker game here. Oh? Uh, see, uh, the reason I called Harry... Uh, <laughs> uh, this, this, this will give you a laugh. Uh, see, uh, we're chaperones for the party, as you know, uh, but the funny thing is, uh, we have the sandwiches, but we can't seem to find the party. You can't find the party? <laughs> uh, that's right. Is he laughing? Uh, not exactly. What's this all about, Oz? Is this a joke or something? Uh, uh, no, no, it's just a little mix-up. Uh, but, but we'll straighten it out as soon as you tell us what lodge the, the kids went to. Well, didn't Ricky tell you? No, no, see, uh, uh, Bruce called up. Who's Bruce? When Joyce left here, she was with Ricky. Well, I, I, I'm sure she still is. Uh, believe me, Harry, uh, everything's going to be all right. Uh, just tell me the name of the lodge where, the, where they went. Well, let me think. You got me so confused. Pine Lodge. Pine Lodge. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. Well, how come you're not there? Well, uh, I'll explain it to you later, Harry. Oz. Oz? What's the matter? I've never heard of such a thing. He's supposed to be chaperoning the fraternity party, and he's up in the hills somewhere playing poker. I don't see anybody. Is there a fraternity party being held here tonight? Well, not that I know of. The why? Is somebody making a lot of noise upstairs? So, no, no, no. In fact, we're not checked in here. It's just that my son told his girl's father that they were coming here. Well, are you sure you have the right lodge? Well, he said Pine Lodge. Well, it might have been Twin Pine Lodge. That might be it. Or there's Lone Pine Lodge, or Pine Cone Lodge, or Big Pine Lodge, or there's Sycamore Lodge. Oh, we can't cover them all. It'd take all night. That's for sure. Maybe we ought to just drive on back home. Who knows? Rick may be trying to reach us. Wait a minute. Did you say you heard something to the effect that they were coming up here? Well, yeah, that's right. You don't think they've eloped, do you? Oh. <laughs> Well, why don't I just check the register to make sure? Uh, what's your son's name? Oh, well, no, uh, uh, thanks very much, but uh, we'll, we'll find them. Right. Hey, did you leave the television set on? No, I don't think so. I hear music. So do I. The party's here. Well, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. How about this? We've been driving all over looking for the party, and it was here all the time. Yeah, well, we wait here at the house for you kids for quite a while, and nobody showed up. What happened? Well, we started the party over at the fraternity house, but then the record player broke down again, so we finally decided to come over here. Oh, I guess we must have been on our way over to the fraternity house while you were on your way over here. I guess that's what happened. Well, I'm glad it's all straightened out. I was beginning to get worried. So this is where everybody is. Oh, hi, Bruce. Come on in. Hi, Mr. Nelson. Uh, I guess we all finally caught up with the party. <laughs> Where's Sharon? Oh, she asked me to take her home. I can't say that I blame her. We drove all the way up to the cabin, and there was a poker party going on. <laughs> we drove up there, too. Well, uh, come on in and join the party. Thank you. I hope you don't mind us having the party here, Mrs. Nelson. Rick said it'd be all right. Oh, sure. Dave let us in. Dave, well, where's Rick? I don't know. We haven't seen him. Oh, well, uh, didn't he come here with you guys? No, he didn't. Hey, you don't think he went up to the lodge, do you? He was talking about it, you know. Uh, no, no, he's not up there. We were just up there. Well, the phone's in the dining room, dear, and you know the number. I'm afraid I do. You like a sandwich, Mrs. Nelson? No, thank you, Norman. Maybe later. Hey, you're pretty cute. Would you like to dance? Yes, she would. She's with me. <laughs> well, have fun, you two. Come on, honey.
What'll I say to him? Why don't you start out with this? will give you a laugh. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Is this Mrs. Maynard? No, this is Joyce. Oh, Joyce! Well, is Rick there? Yes, Mr. Nelson. He's right here. It's your father. Oh, thanks. Well, hi, Pop. Uh, Rick, where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Well, we've been looking for everybody, too. I thought they were all going to Pine Lodge, but nobody was there, so we went over to the fraternity house. Nobody was there either, so we stopped by the malt shop, and then we came over here. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I've got news for you. The party's over here at our house. Oh, no kidding. Well, we'll be right over there. Well, uh, good. And look, be sure and tell Mr. Maynard that the chaperones are here. Well, I would, but I don't know where he is. Well, is he there? Well, no, sir. And neither is Mrs. Maynard. Well, that's funny. Well, we'll be right over, Pop. Well, uh, okay. What's the matter? Well, uh, now the, the Maynards are missing. Well, this is quite a night. Hello? Oh, uh, Harry. Well, I'm glad you called. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, the party's right here at our house. Yeah, Harriet and I are here chaperoning like crazy, and everything's under control. Yeah, where are you? Uh, well, it was such a nice night. The wife and I thought we'd take a little drive and get some fresh air. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's nice. I was afraid you might be worried about Joyce. No, of course not. Don't be silly, Oz. Oh, well, that's good. Well, good night, Harry. Calling from? Well, he didn't say exactly, but I could almost smell the pine cones. <laughs> uh, and, uh, would you care to dance with one of the chaperones? I'd love to. <laughs> television network film presentation.